Okay, good morning. It's July 1st, 2021. And I'm back at the Swan Drama Pond. It's been a few days since I've been here. We've had some rain and I've just been a little busy, but the Trumpeter family is right out there to the left feeding. And the mute, male mute swan is trying to intimidate. But he got a little close, but one of the trumpeters ended up uh, attacking the swan, attacking the mute swan. I'm so surprised. And there's four, I count four signets. So it looks like the trumpeters lost one signet. I don't know how they lost their signet. And the mute swan is, the signet is still surviving over on the nest with the female trumpeter. Very unusual behavior. And we have a bunch of ducks out there too. I think that might be the Mersaganger family or could be the Mall, it looks like the Mallard family. But I'm surprised like, why doesn't the trumpeter fully attack the male mute swan right now? The death of the water, I mean, it's not that deep, but still, why does the trumpeter allow the mute swan to be so close to its family? Maybe the female trumpeter is in her molt. I'm not sure about that. But it's by far like really interesting behavior. So we have two families, pretty crazy. We have the mute swan family right here. Then we have the trumpeters right out there. The female mute swan, she's in her molt right now. She's been in her molt for probably a little over a week. And we have the male mute swan. He's trying to intimidate right now. Not sure what happened to one of the trumpeter signets. It's just really surprising that the trumpeters allowed the mute swan to be that close to them with their young.
So the male mute swan, he came over towards his family right over here. Then he went back out to intimidate the trumpeters. But um, I have no reason, I have no idea why the trumpeters are, are not attacking him right now. So close to the cygnets. The mute swan signet is feeding over here. The female, she can fly a little bit, but she's in her molt. It's July 1st. Been following this swan drama for four months now since April 19th and here we are today families bickering Well, I just missed the action here on recording. Both of the trumpeter swans went after the mute swan. Signet, the, the male trumpeter went after the signet on the other side of the hill. Then the mute swan went after the trumpeter. Then the other trumpeter came in. The trumpeter left their signets right out there in the middle of the pond. I'm not sure about the mute signet. He's on the other side of the hill. So I'm not sure what happened with him. It's been a crazy morning. Haven't been here like in three days. It's interesting how smart the, the signets are and they just stay together and they wait for mom and dad to come back. But the male mute swan, he really didn't go after the trumpeter right away. Here goes the trumpeter again. It's just a bunch of harassment going on. And that's the female, the female mute swan right there. See, I, I think like the trumpeter, they give up like at the end. They just like harassing the mute swan. I mean, they could catch these mute swans. It's just like a harassment. They're just chasing them.
I mean, I've seen the trumpeters uh, like in the winter time on the river and, and in Gallup Park on the Huron River. I've seen them like chase each other left and right and not give up until they're caught. <laughs> No sign of the mute signet. Even with the mute signet, I mean, she's in her molt and he, he, he doesn't like catch her. It's just like their form of intimidation and harassment, the trumpeters. The mute, I mean, the trumpeter signets are old enough now where they can just stay together and the parents are just going to attack. The male mute swan is cleaning himself while the female gets chased. See, he just bites like that, but he, he, he lets up. Now he takes a little bit of a snack. And here comes the female mute swan back. She's intimidating. She's not backing down really. And that's her, look at, look at, look at both of the mute swans are coming towards the trumpeter, teasing them. A lot of intimidation, teasing, and harassment. Okay, so the mute swan signet is back right at the nest. It's looking pretty good. Trumpeter Swan family is right over there at the south central part of the pond. I have a time lapse camera set up right now. Looks like the Trumpeter family is back to the attack mode. They'll leave their signets alone and they're going to attack and harass these mute swans. I think the main goal is to finally get that lone signet. We'll have to see what happens. That was your update today for July 1st. Thanks for watching, hope you have a great day. Okay, good afternoon. July 2nd, 2021. 
back at the Swan Drama Pond. That's the Trumpeter Swan family right there. They have four signets. Uh, they lost one signet probably a week ago, but they're looking pretty good right now. The temperature is about 72 degrees, nice and cool. And we have the mute swans are over here. I haven't seen the juvenile. He's a juvenile by now, the lone juvenile. But uh, I'm gonna go over and change my time-lapse camera and uh, see what's gonna go on for a little bit here. Okay, that's the male mute swan right over there. The female is over on the other side of the island. Haven't seen the juvenile yet. The trumpeter swan family is over on the south central part of the pond. My time lapse has worked for the past 24 hours, which is nice. Actually 30 hours, a little bit more than 30 hours. So it'll be interesting to see what the time lapse has, uh, sh has to show. But it's just a quick update today for July 2nd. A little windy. Water level is a nice, uh, still at a good level right now. We're not supposed to get any rain for the next three or four days. Rain is coming next week. Okay, so the trumpeter swan family is right here at the south central part of the pond. And now you can see the juvenile mute swan. She's about like maybe 10 feet off the shore. I wonder if the trumpeters are gonna go over and do some attacking right now. They're heading in that direction. More than likely that's the, that's the female trumpeter doing the leading right now. Both mute swans have their wings arched. The juvenile mute swan, he's getting a little bit bigger now. Might not be that easy for him to hide. He's right over by the nest right now. That's not really a good location for him because the, the hill is right there. So, now the trumpeters have stopped in the water. They're looking like they're going to go over for a little bit of an attack. Juveniles like right over by the nest now. Be a good opportunity for the trumpeters to fly in right now, for one of them at least. It's just how how close are they going to bring their signets? And will the mute will the mute swan go after the trumpeter signets? The trumpeters lost one signet, but I believe that that loss was probably tor uh, a snapping turtle probably got it. Perhaps like an eagle or a hawk. Now the juvenile uh, trumpeter, I mean the juvenile mute swan, is kind of like a little hidden in the back there now. Both of the mute swans come out a little bit further.
nice to see this pond the water a little bit higher it's about a foot higher than uh with the rain maybe about uh, 10 to 12 inches higher i believe Juvenile mute swan, you cannot see him right now. He's hidden. When I was here yesterday, that's where the trumpeters left their young ones, right there. And they went on the attack. The mute swans are staying a good distance away from the trumpeters too. Look forward to see my time lapse from today and yesterday. I imagine the mute swans were probably attacked a few times. Got some female red-winged blackbirds down there. I haven't seen any swallows yet. Trumpeter is just crossing the, from the south to the north in the center of the pond. There's a swallow. Well, it looks like the trumpeters are gonna head back. They're going towards the direction of their island now. They're looking towards the direction of the mute swans too. They're turning around. But I'm just going to call it a day right now. I'll come back either uh, tomorrow if I have time or on Sunday, July 4th. But thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Okay, good morning happy 4th of july 2021 back at the swan drama pond that's the male right there if i'm not mistaken that is the male mute swan he's got the knob on his uh beak there and that must be the female over there this is just your update today the juvenile swan is here he's hiding somewhere 
The trumpeter swan family are is on the other side, right over by the north of the island over there. I'm going to change my time lapse camera and just going to see what happens. But uh, thank you for watching. Okay, the trumpeter swan family is coming this way. Just wanted to point out the juvenile mute swan is only swimming with one leg. He does have an injured leg. So I'm just going to take off, get back to higher ground. Okay, I only see three trumpeter swan signets, so they lost another one. I don't think the mute swan killed them. Must be like a snapping turtle that's getting them. But the juvenile mute swan is hiding right by the island. I mean, excuse me, right by the hill. The trumpeters are really close but they must not be able to see them surprise how close the male mute swan is right there the female mute swan is over here she wants to get the trumpeters to come her way but the juvenile mute swan is only swimming with one foot the one of the uh one foot is injured. <whistles> Trumpeter is just going about their business right now. They're eating. Being patient. I noticed over by the nest, like by the side of the hill, there was like a lot of um, grass that was stomped down. And it looked like the, and there was a couple feathers, white feathers. So uh, it looks like there was an attack or something from the trumpeters. Mute swan getting a little too close there.
Trumpeters are moving away now. Not sure why. I guess they cannot see the juvenile mute swan. I mean, the juvenile is in a really bad situation. I mean, there's the hill that's right behind. Not too many places to hide, but he's he's able to survive this encounter. Trumpeters moving away. Okay, the trumpeters are back at their other location in the north part of the pond. I'm going to call it a day for July 4th. Unfortunately, my time lapse is not set up the next uh, two days. So I'll have to come back uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow and set up the time lapse. But hope you enjoy the video. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Okay, good morning. July 6th, 2021. Back at the Swan Drama Pond. I just arrived and the trumpeters with their family are attacking the two mute swans. The juvenile is probably hiding somewhere in the tall grass. The trumpeters had their signets with them. When I arrived, uh, one of the trumpeters was biting one of the mute swans on the rear end. <laughs> but this is a tough situation. That juvenile mute swan is able to escape. But now the trumpeters are moving in closer. When I was watching my time-lapse video from July 2nd and July 3rd, there's another attack. But one of the, like, one of the time-lapse videos it showed both of the trumpeters, they left the signets over by the island. And both of the trumpeters were attacking and they attacked really hard. I mean, they had one of the, the mute swans like pinned down against the grass. But they're unable to get the juvenile mute swan. And in another attack, it was just the male trumpeter that flew from the island over to this area see now he's going to pummel but she leave she leaves the signets alone look at that there's there's the male mute swan right there is he going to go after the signets look how close he is look how he got so close to the signets I couldn't believe that the trumpeter allowed that. The signets dove in the water, two of them. Two of the signets dove in the water. See, now that mute swan's got nowhere to run, and like he's right by the side of the hill. And the trumpeter is just wailing on him right now. It's hard for them to get up the hill. They're, they're like caught. There it is right there. There they are. And there's the male mute swan. I believe that's the male intimidating. Look how close he is. Wow, he's really close to those signets, the trumpeter signets. Now the trumpeter is just still wailing on the mute swan. Can't tell where the mute swan, the mute swan's trying to escape like I have like a path. That's where my time-lapse camera is set up. Now the mute swan got too close to the trumpeter. 
That's the female trumpeter on the male mute swan right there. And he turns around. But the signets are left open now. And there's the male mute swan trying to fight the trumpeter. Tries to lunge at the trumpeter a little bit. Wow. They have an awkward lunge when they do that. There's three signets. I believe there's three. Yep, there's three signets down there. I can see the trumpeter's head like over by the grass. Still holding on to the mute swan. Don't know where the juvenile is. Don't know how much damage the trumpeter can really do to the swan on the land there. You can hear the cry of the mute swan. I can hear the, maybe the trumpeter had the No, the mute swan was able to get away. It's amazing how close the mute swan is to those signets. Look how the signets, they're like left in the open there. I mean, the mute swan, if they wanted to attack, they could maybe attack. Well, that is just wow. Seems, seems a little reckless to leave the signets in the open right there. But I think the mute swans know better not to go after the signets. No sign of the mute juvenile swan. I think a snapping turtle has killed, is what killed the trumpeter mute signets. I'll have to go walk over by the island and check it out. Like over, I haven't walked on, on the boardwalk in a, in a number of days. Been staying in this area on the east side of the pond. I haven't really been to the west side of the pond.
It was interesting when the the male trumpeter he flew in like three different times trying to like surprise and capture the the mute uh, juvenile but could not get him. He flew in like a dive bomb, attacked, flew away, then came back a minute later. But that juvenile is still able to get away. But yesterday when I was here, I saw him swim with just basically one, one good leg. So I'll have to see what's what. Okay, so the male trumpeter has been like preening himself, cleaning himself for about five minutes here. A little bit more than five minutes, probably maybe ten. But the juvenile mute swan, I can see him like he's right by the nest to the right of the uh, female mute swan. But the trumpeter, he must not be able to see him. the trumpeter turns around he might he might have a better shot of looking and seeing the the juvenile uh, now the juvenile goes a little bit in the back I don't see the juvenile he's got a good hiding spots back there I'm sure he knows where to hide it's it's confusing why the trumpeter just doesn't go closer I can see the juvenile I can still see him But, yeah, like, why doesn't the trumpeter, he just move in closer? The male mute swan, he lunged at the female trumpeter, but he lunged with, like, this body. He didn't lunge with his head like his, like a bite. I can see the juvenile mute swan, but the trumpeter, he's just cleaning himself right now. He's further away from the mute swans. He's got to see the juvenile if he turns around. I mean, the juvenile is right by the bottom of the nest over there. But he's too busy cleaning himself. Female trumpeter is still with the signets doing some feeding down there. Looks like the male trumpeter is heading that way. Yeah, 
Yeah, it looks like he's going to go join his partner. The mute swans are surviving. Yeah, so the trumpeters are back at the island here. I don't see any like dead cygnets in the water. I imagine it was a snapping turtle that probably killed the two cygnets of the trumpeters. Could be an eagle too. Don't think it was the mute swan. The mute swans, they basically, they have been they have stayed for the most part on the eastern side of the pond. I don't think they've been like towards the island whatsoever. Maybe the closest they get is like the halfway point of the pond. So right here, this is all like mashed down. That's where the trumpeter had the female mute swan was pummeling her. This is the male mute swan right here with the juvenile. And he's getting bigger. The juvenile is getting really big now. But I wonder about the legs of the juvenile. In the video, the time lapse video on July 3rd, he was able to stand up no problem on both legs. But when I was here yesterday on July 4th, he was only swimming with one leg. And right now I don't see him standing. Trumpeters are back on the island. Yeah, I just missed the video. It's his left leg that's injured. He's only got one good leg right now. He's definitely cannot put any weight on that left leg. His right leg is okay, but his left leg is definitely injured. So I imagine the trumpeter was uh, caught him. Yeah, so the trumpeters are relaxing on the island. The mute swan family is right here, still surviving. But the left leg of this juvenile mute swan is definitely injured. On July 3rd, like I said, he was able to stand on the nest. But yesterday I, I noticed the injury. So the trumpeter must have ended up catching him on um, July 4th, probably early in the morning. Usually the swans, the trumpeters are attacking like in the morning and, and right before uh, sunset. Just trying to watch. Yeah, it's kind of difficult, but he looks like he's only swimming with one foot. <laughs> 